everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while but I'm finally back to show you one of my favorite things to make, fresh homemade pasta. It just tastes so much better than store bought. I'll also show you how to properly cook the spaghetti and if you want to have this amazing complete dish at home, don't forget to check out my last video for the meatballs recipe. I'll leave the full spaghetti recipe in the description box or you can check it out on my Instagram. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell on. Use a fork to slowly mix the egg and the flour together. Once it starts to come together, you can then use your hands and knead the dough really well for about 10 minutes or more until it's super smooth and the gluten has developed. Cover the dough with plastic wrap and let it rest for one hour. Cut the dough into even thin slices, then put the pieces together making sure it is about the same size or smaller than the pasta machine. Before putting the pasta through the machine, make sure the pasta sheet is thinner than the pasta roller hole and that you fully open it as wide as possible. Continue to put the pasta through the pasta roller and making it thinner. Once the pasta is at the half the thickness as the widest setting for the pasta roller, fold the sheet and start from the beginning. You might have to trim a little so it fits through the hole. Repeat this process over and over until the pasta is smooth and as thick as you want. Cut the pasta to the length you want your spaghetti to be and make sure to dust it with flour so it doesn't stick together. Then put the sheets through the spaghetti cutter and dust it with flour again. Make sure to get flour in between each noodle so they stay separated. Set up a pot with boiling water and add salt to it. 
Once the water starts to boil, you can add the spaghetti to it and cook for about 5 minutes. In a different pot, you're gonna warm up the meatballs. About 2 minutes before the pasta is done, add it to the meatballs and the tomato sauce, and also add a little bit of the pasta water, and finish cooking the pasta in there. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and you get to try it at home. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell on. See you next time.